guys welcome back to Cypress Steel Forge and we're getting ready for Halloween so happy Halloween for all those people who enjoy this holiday I know I personally do I love it so uh, as you, as we've been lately we're, we're still pretty busy around the shop but I thought we'd take some time and have us a little fun with a side project uh, we're going on a hawk bill yeah Take this over there and grind it, and I'll work on that a little bit today. But what we're going to be doing is a little bit of Halloween treat. I've had a, a crazy little idea in my head for a Halloween slash horror movie weapon. It, it's not something that would I would normally ever make. Not for a customer. It's just a, a, a crazy little stupid thing, but I think it'll look kind of cool. And, you know, Halloween's about looking cool, and, you know, horror movie, movie, you know, stuff's about looking cool. The scarier the weapon and all that. So, what I'm going to do is make what I'm calling the Ripper Hatchet. And, uh, how's it going to be a Ripper Hatchet? Well, it starts with, we're going to make it from an old saw blade. Now, this here, poor blade, belonged to my dad, and it has... To say it's seen better days, I mean, you can see the rust is just eating some of the teeth off it already. It is in some sad shape, but that's okay, because this is going to be a wall hanger. So what I'm going to do is uh, I've already taken and marked some general ideas with chalk here, and I'm going to cut out what essentially is going to be the hatchet head. I may go a little wider, we'll see, and then we'll cut off some of the rusted part. And I will put it in the forge for a little bit to get a, uh, a patina on it. Uh, you know, to get rid of some of this rust, I'll, you know, I'll wire wheel it, just to protect it. Uh, you know, in addition to uh, being for Halloween, it, it helps preserve Dad, you know. I got a lot of his tools around here. I always said I'd use his stuff, and I'm using his stuff, and this will go on my wall. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do this week. Uh, next week, we're going to do another Halloween project. Uh, my apprentice, Sean's going to be here, and we're going to work on some knives for his wife's uh, costume. So, the next two weeks is going to be costume weapons. And, uh, yeah, among the many things we're going to do, you know, I, I, I'll take you all step by step, but we're definitely going to dull this down. It's, it's not great now. But let's get it completely safe. Safety first, anytime you're working with stuff like this. Uh, yeah, I really shouldn't be touching that rusty part, should I? Uh, as I say that. But anyways, yeah. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to, step by step, turn this into a ripper hatchet. It's going to be fun.
All right, so step one's completed. We just uh, cut out a very basic shape here. It's uh, kind of a pie wedge sort of thing. We're gonna take it over to the grinder and uh, really refine it and, and get rid of this uh, nasty bit here with all the rust on it. And like I said, we'll, uh, we'll dull these tips a bit and uh, get all the grinder slag off there and what have you. And, then once we've got the uh, the proper hatchet look, then we'll move on to uh, the handle and stuff. It, it's it's gonna be a simple enough project, but uh, with the added twists that uh, we're gonna use some of my Halloween makeup effects and uh, add some blood and stuff to it at the end. So it's gonna be fun. Alright, so now we got a uh, slightly more refined shape. Now, when I say refined, I'm using that in a very, very loose term. What I mean is that it looks something more like what I want it to. Number one, I, I, the, the idea I had behind this whole thing was like a horror movie villain who makes his own little hatchets out of day-to-day -day crap, and this is just one of them ripper hatchet and so it's supposed to look crude it's supposed to absolutely look like it was made from a saw it's supposed to look like it will hit and rip as opposed to cutting now we did take and hit these teeth on the grinder so way safer now i mean i wouldn't go jamming your hand on anything but i wouldn't recommend that in sh this shop anyway so just don't do that that's that's pretty simple so next thing we got to do is we're going to heat it up and uh, in the process of uh, we'll get rid of the brand name. We don't we don't want to mess with anybody's brand, but also we'll uh, anneal it, make it softer so we can drill a hole. I'm not going to use this hole. Um, frankly, it's just too dang big. I, I don't know how to go about I don't have anything big enough to, I don't have any bolts or anything big enough for that. So I'm gonna take and drill right behind it and it's gonna kinda sit like this here and that'll actually make it even. So if you can picture my hand being the, the hatchet handle, that's gonna be more like it. So anyways, uh, yeah, let's go fire this thing up and uh, We'll uh, heat treat, well not a heat treat, that's the wrong word. We're gonna anneal this and we'll get it uh, hot and then we'll let it cool down a bit and then we'll oil soak it to get a nice patina on there. And then we can drill out some holes and then we'll work on the handle. Or maybe I'll work on the handle while that's happening, I don't know. All right, so while the, the forge is heating up and, and getting ready for the, the blade there, I, I got looking around and I didn't really know exactly what I wanted to do with the handle, but I found this little chunk of crepe myrtle. It's just a piece of a stick. It <laughs> turned if it don't just fit a hand really well. So uh, what I've done is just drill the hole here, and I think what I'm going to do is uh, use just a piece of rebar and set it in there, and then uh, you know have it come out to here. I'll split it and. Uh, maybe tap some holes or something and peen, it, peen the thing in place with, with the rebar holding it and it, I'm not 100% sure but we're gonna see all right so <laughs> a lot of stuff's happening uh, 
really quickly. I took a very large diameter piece of uh, rebar, cut it down kind of short. Uh, you'll see me hammering out a little bit of a, a tang on it. and then doing a burn through on that piece of wood. Just uh, made it fit in there real well. So that, that'll get epoxied, of course, at the end. But uh, from there, I slotted the top of it. And so I'm getting the, uh, the rebar in the uh, blade super hot right now. Uh, the idea is I'm going to try to forge roll them together. I tried drilling the uh, blade and it just did not work. Even after annealing, it just, the bit just won't bite in. So we're gonna try this. And if that doesn't work, I'll epoxy the crap out of it because it is just a wall hanger, but we're gonna try it. Guys, so it's the next day. You, you've seen everything except the glue up, and uh, I put epoxy into the hole and then stuck the rebar in there. Uh, I put some epoxy around the head. It did not forge well as well as I was hoping. You know, it's it's fine. It's meant to be a wall hanging piece. It's just a little bit of fun for Halloween. Uh, that's all. Uh, I wouldn't take this out doing anything with it for real. Uh, for a variety of reasons, but uh, yeah, the fact that the head is barely on there, I, I do it. I did epoxy it. Uh, among the many things that have been kind of difficult for me is looking at how rough this thing is and continually telling myself that is the intention. That is what I, I know. It's I know the head is bent. I know it's warped. I did it on purpose. It's still driving me a little crazy, but that's all right. Anyways, uh, the whole point is to make it look like a horror movie villain who lives out in the woods and just pieced himself together a nasty little weapon. And for that, I'm not even really shaping this handle. All I've done is I took it to the grinder and I knocked down the, the, uh, the bark off with the 80 grit and then took it over to the wire wheel and roughed it up. I'm even leaving the rough cut on there because, I mean, this thing's done except for one last thing just for the fun of it because it is halloween and that is to add some blood so i just got some fake blood from the dollar store and uh we're just gonna bloody it up a little bit and uh, have a little bit of fun with it and the reason i knocked the uh, bark off of the uh, handle is i wanted the uh, blood to kind of stain the handle a little bit now that's very bright red and i'm hoping that'll darken up but Let's kind of just smear that on there and like one side's kind of all bloodied up. And then we're going to take and just do the same thing on part of the head. We're just going to splash a little bit of fake blood on here and uh, just take a rag and just kind of dab and dab and dab. Bloody it up a little bit here. Now, that should dry like that pretty well, but I found in the past that that stuff likes to come off with water. Uh, I've used it for outdoor decorations before and it doesn't stay in the rain. So what I'm gonna do is I've got some really dark red, like a maroon, uh, a dark red brownish 
uh, nail polish. And so I'm just gonna dab a little bit of this nail polish right on the tips. Now, because of how I intend to hang it, I'm really only working on one side. Uh, kind of in a hurry. Uh, with the sale, things have blown up in the past day, and I've got a lot of orders to finish. Again, as always, thank y'all so much for that. That is... I, I'm so much closer to my dream of being able to do this for a living, and, and y'all need to thank for all of that, and, and that's awesome. I, I can't... I have a hard time expressing emotions, but please know I'm grateful to every one of you. Uh, e even if you're not not buying anything, you're just watching or just you know ch swinging by. I I'm I'm grateful. I'm so thankful for you. I'm gonna take some of this dark here, that nail polish, and I'm just gonna kind of swack it on the, the the handle a little bit and. Uh, We'll do the same, just down the, uh, just a little bit down the, the head of it. It, where the rebar has got the, uh, the ridges on it, it, it just kind of makes a great spot. If you just want to swipe, 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 and it just catches on that, that's perfect. Ain't nothing, nothing wrong with that, man. It, it's, it's meant to look like a murder weapon. It's not intended to be pretty. Now, uh, to, uh, guy I, I was in Germany with who is a uh, an excellent uh, I'm blanking on the word the the, the kind of uh, the horror artist I'm, he, there's a word for it now I'm, I'm, I'm completely blanking but you know who you are uh, sorry <laughs> my, my work is not as good as yours but uh, hey if you, you ever want something a little better I mean, give me a holler you know I can do better than this but uh, there it is. There's my ripper axe. That's going to go up on my wall. It's just uh, fun for Halloween. And so we, we're just having a little bit of fun. Uh, I'm trying to finish this up quick because the forge is lit and I got work to do. But uh, we'll do another Halloween uh, video next week. And then uh, it's going to be back to normal stuff. Or, or maybe not. Maybe I'll do something for Thanksgiving. I have, I have no idea. Anyways, uh, appreciate all of y'all and y'all take care.